You are in luck, Poirot. Of course, no journey on this train is ever ordinary. But this is a special occasion. To celebrate the 140 years of the Orient Express, the engine will be none other than the splendid Pacific 231G558. There she is, Poirot. The most celebrated train in history. Lead the way, Book. It was built in France in 1922 by the Compagnie Batignolles Châtillon. At the time of its purchase by the SNCF in 1938, it could reach speeds up to 130 kilometers per hour. <laughs> Wait until you see. It is like traveling back in time. Today, the train is limited to 100 kilometers per hour. I assure you, that will be more than fast enough to get you to Paris in time for your connection to London. In the meantime, you will bask in the magic that is the Orient Express. Good evening, monsieur. Your compartment is number 202. However, I am afraid that all the others are already full. Full? But how can that be? It is incredible, monsieur. All the world lets to travel tonight. All the same, you must find room for this gentleman here. I can exercise my powers of observation while they try to find me a bed. Is a friend of mine. He can have number 201. It is taken, monsieur. What? Number 201? But yes, monsieur. We are full. Notice the young woman from the hotel. She again wishes to watch the old man with his little friend, but not to be seen herself. Is everything aboard the train, Hector? In your compartment, Mr. Ratchet. I'm having them disinfect the room again, as you instructed. I also got a call from the Indians. The sale is going through as you expected. There was never any doubt. No other phone calls, Hector, from Geneva or Venice? No, sir. Who were you expecting? Never you mind. Check our tickets. We're not going in until everything is confirmed. The young man seems quite agreeable, but the other, the older man, is something quite different. Darling, we have to get aboard. I know, I know. I have heard of the phobia of fear of flying, but fear of trains? Now you're making fun of me. Never mind. We'll board shortly, once our compartment is ready. Why did you order so much lobster, Hotaru? My dear Freya, I need it for my specialty on the second night. And if the lobster a la mori isn't fresh, the passengers will know. We don't have enough space for my desserts. Tonight, molten chocolate cake. Tomorrow, my specialty. That is not my concern. They will not have room for them anyway. Serve your lobster tonight. Chicken a la mori must be the first night dish for the travelers. It is easier to digest. Ugh, you really are the egomaniac everyone says you are. I have every reason to be. I am the engine. You are just the caboose. Mary. Not now. Not now. When it's all over, when it's behind us, then. Poirot, well, I am mortified. The 140th anniversary, perhaps, but such a plague of passengers. Well done. 
My little gray cells did not let me down. Poirot, we have a solution. A gentleman has not yet come. An Englishman, a Monsieur Harris. A name of good omen. It is already time to leave. What do I care for Mr. Harris? As Monsieur pleases. I had your things sent straight to your compartment. Unfortunately, you will be with another traveler. No. Only for the first night. It cannot be helped. I will survive, mon ami. Monsieur Book, we can't find enough space in the kitchen refrigerator to store all of my ingredients. How is it possible? His recipes are extravagant. We need to leave something on the platform. If my lobsters don't go, I don't go. And have the passengers on the Orient Express go hungry? Ever! Must I intervene? The problem is unworthy of the problem. But I do not intend to starve on the most luxurious train in the world. Thank you for coming to help us. It is impossible to fit everything into the Gary's refrigerator. Obviously, my entree are more important than dessert. If Mr. Mori delays his lobsters for a day or two, we can restock at another station. Delay? You ask me to delay? Prea? Calm yourself, my friend. I'm sure we can find a solution. Is that a diagram of the refrigerator? May I see it? Yes. He refuses to look at it. That was easy. Et voilà. You saved tomorrow night's dinner. Mr. Poirot, I will reserve the finest lobster just for you. I look forward to it, monsieur. And to the dessert, mademoiselle. Hopefully. That will be the last mystery you face on our journey, my dear Poirot. Your compartment for tonight only is at the back of the second-class carriage, number 102. Tomorrow, you move to a private compartment.
Welcome, Monsieur Paul. I apologize for the delay. Thank you, Monsieur Michel. I am delighted you could accommodate me. These first-class rooms are very spacious and luxurious. Pardon me? Oh, my apologies. This lady has a style of her own, eccentric but chic. Excuse me, I think you made a mistake. You are Mr. Harris? No, my name is McQueen. I... There is no other berth on the train, monsieur. All is arranged. Yours is the upper berth. We start in one minute. The train's remarkably full. En voiture! Listen, sir, if you'd rather have the lower berth, easier and all that, well, that's all right by me. No, 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 you are too amiable. It is for one night only at Belgrade. Oh, I see. You're getting out of Belgrade. Not exactly. <laughs> 